In this tutorial, you will learn how to check whether the user is browsing your website or maybe if they jump to another tab in the browser and your website isn't the one which is act actually active in the user browser. So how to de detect this kind of uh, user behavior? We need to create an event listener on the document object. So let's do that. And the type of this event, which will allow us to check whether the tab is active or not, is this, this event name is visibility change. So we are, we want to listen for change changes on visibility event on the document as a target. This event, this visibility change event um, could be catched only on the document as a target. You cannot use it for other elements in your document. Okay. So what now? Let's create the callback function and let's return the console log visibility changed. So now let's go to the browser and now our tab is active. If I will go to the another tab and close it and go back, you will see that visibility changed has been logged two times. The first one, when I leave the page, when I left the page and the second one, when I uh, come back, came back. Okay. So now you know how to catch this kind of event, but what you can do about it, we can, instead of logging, some dummy text and checking uh, if this event is working, this event listener is working, we can lock the document visibility state. So now if I go to another tab and go back, I have in the console hidden and visible. And those values are and those values comes from uh, this document visibility state property. So now I can easily check if site is hidden or if it's visible. There's also another way of checking the document visibility and it's the hidden property. It returns true or false document hidden property true, of course, means that the document is hidden. If it's visible, the value, the returned value will be the false. So it will be easier for us to use this hidden property because uh, for if statements, we don't need to compare uh, any values like with visibility state, because with visibility state, we need to check, we need to use some operator, some uh, compare, we need to compare two values and we need to compare it with hidden. And now we are getting what we want. If it's hidden, we have a true, we, if it's false, we have a false. So instead of doing that, it's much simpler to use just document hidden. Okay. So what we can do now, uh, if we know, if we have the value and we can create an if statement, the most obvious for this purpose, the most obvious action uh, for this purpose for uh, grabbing attention 
user user's attention for grabbing user's attention and mm, getting back the user to your site is to change the document title because if document will be hidden then we can change document title and say for example come back and now if i go to another tab you see that the page title changed now we have a come back on the mm, tab in the browser but of course if the user will come back to our page we need to change title again because without that we will end up with our new set title which was come back so if the user leave the page and go back we need to change the title because without that the user will uh, user will see all the time the comeback as a title which doesn't look good okay so now we've changed back uh, we've changed the title to welcome back but what if we want to change title for its original one to do that we need to create a new variable or new constant and let's name it original title and let's get the original title from the document so now if we want to change the title to the original one we can use this original title constant because it has assigned the original uh, value we cannot use it here because this event listener will be um, executed every single time and this callback function will be executed every single time when this event occur so that means whenever the visibility change this code will be executed and this original title uh, will be assigned to this document title so if we change the title it becomes the document title and then we are assigning this as a mm, as an original one of course you can test it but this is how it's working notice that we are not getting any mm, error in the console so this original title uh, um, we are not getting any error because of mm, reassigning this original title uh, value because we are not doing that we are just getting this document title and assigning to this constant and this constant in our case becomes mm, the comeback after the visibility is changed constant only preserves you to change the value to the new one then of course we will get assignment error okay but if we want to preserve this original title we need to move this constant declaration uh, outside this at event listener callback function so now let's check that we have the javascript title as a default and now it's working it's working but it has some little bug and the bug is that if you refresh the page if you visit the page for the first time this comeback title could be visible this title is flickering and i want to get rid of uh, this behavior we can simply just 
we can simply just add a set timeout function. So as a callback function, we will use this if statement. And as, a, as an, another argument, we will try 100 milliseconds delay for running this code. Now, if I refresh the page, you see that there are there is no flickering anymore uh, with the title. So now if I leave the page after 100 milliseconds, this code is executed uh, and this code is checking um, whether the document is hidden or not. So if the document is hidden, it gets the title uh, as a comeback. And we can wait 100 milliseconds if jumping through the tabs last less than 100 milliseconds, then there is no change because this code has been fired, but only after 100 milliseconds. And after that time, the document was not hidden, hasn't been hidden. So we get the original title as a title. I can increase a little this delay to give user slightly more time to visit another tab and ch check something. And I guess the quarter of second uh, works well here. Okay, we have a really nice piece of code, but we can refactor this code. And refactoring code is really important. It's kind of side tutorial uh, besides of visibility change uh, topic. Uh, but this is really important if you are writing code. Uh, if you wrote a lot of lines, every some point in the time or every uh, some number of lines, uh, you should take a break, you should pause, pause your writing, mm, pause writing of your code and think what you can improve in your code. Because without that, your code will get really messy. And what, what we can improve here? We can move this function set with uh, set timeout or uh, what, what's the best practice is to creating functions from if statement blocks. It's really often practiced because uh, if statements create um, usually uh, a lot of lines of codes and you can wrap them in some logical name, which is the function. So let's create the function and let's name it check document visibility. So now I can check document visibility and instead of running this code inside this set timeout callback, I can just call this function here. So now after some timeout, I'm running this function. And now because it's a line, one line of code, I can also get rid of those curly braces and create one line of uh, code with add event listener and set timeout and the checking document visibility, everything in one line. And let's test it. It's working well, so I guess um, we didn't broke anything. We didn't break anything. Another way of refactoring the same piece of code could be like this. Instead of 
instead of calling check document visibility, we can move back this code here. But now we can use the if statement shorthand. So to, to document title, we can assign a new value and create a shorthand of if statement, which will goes like this. We are checking document if it's hidden, if this value will be true, we can assign to a title comeback value and after the colon we can pass the value for the falsy statement. So now it's the same and this code behaves the same like the previous one but now we are assigning to the title an if statement. We can also wrap it with parentheses and, and we are getting errors because of course we need to create a callback function in the set timeout or we can remove those parentheses or maybe not remove those parentheses but remove those curly braces and use it like this. So now again again we have a one-liner we have one line of code uh, it's a little too long but uh, it works also uh, the same way as before. Now we have some kind of chain because we have one callback function which has another callback function. So for example, we can move this piece of code and create another time check document visibility function. And now this function will get this set timeout also. But it doesn't matter. What matter is that it's still working and this is just an another approach uh, for refactoring the code. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.